Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on Jurassic Collectibles. Tonight I am very excited to be looking at the Dread Nautis, a brand new sauropod which has joined the Jurassic World Dominion line at a whopping 5 foot in length. As you can see the box art is gorgeous, simulating this dinosaur in Biosyn Valley which is its home in the film. I love how this box art also has a vertical variant on the other side, aligning this with the gorgeous artwork we have seen for both the Brachiosaurus and Apatosaurus beforehand. When we open the box you can see the Dreadnoughtus comes in four different components, allowing this behemoth of a figure to fit into a much smaller box. Before we go any further, make sure to like this video if you're enjoying it, as we're about to take this towering titan outdoors for a more unique review. Let's go right now. This figure is absolutely massive, coming in at 5 foot long, meaning you are going to need to find some serious space to display this one. Luckily, I was able to take it outdoors for a bit of a photo shoot for this review. The first thing to note is the detail in the face sculpt for this one. The eyes are nice and refined, and the paintwork for the mouth and the gums looks really cool. I have a lot of appreciation for the way the head sculpt has been handled on this one. Throughout the figure's neck and down through the rest of the body, we get plenty of paint applications for yellow stripes, helping to give the figure a unique aesthetic within its own right. It's also clear that plenty of attention has been paid to texture and sculpt work here, with lots of wrinkles and folds throughout the body of the figure. I particularly like the attention to detail under the stomach and around the legs, helping to make this animal feel much more dynamic and giving it a real bulky appearance which is fitting for a sauropod. There are well aligned paint applications for the belly of the Dreadnoughtus here too, all helping to add additional detail and depth to the animal. The one problem I found with this figure is that it uses a similar marbling effect to the recent Giganotosaurus, meaning some areas can appear unsightly and give off the illusion of being damaged or discoloured. This is unfortunate as the rest of the figure here looks great, with the size and shape really creating an imposing dinosaur. There is plenty of articulation packed in here, with two joints in the figure's neck allowing for some good movement, in addition to an additional ball joint where the neck attaches to the body. We also have a good range of motion when it comes to raising and lowering the neck, and there are some decent joints for the legs as well, again providing the Dreadnoughtus with additional articulation. This is complemented by additional articulation in the tail, featuring both a ball joint at the connection point, plus an additional figure, a swivel even, joint at the end of the figure's tail. This figure, much like all the others, also has a DNA scan code hidden away inside, which you can pop up very easily, and I have to admit this one really blends well with the figure when it's not exposed. When we compare the Dreadnoughtus with other figures from the Jurassic World Dominion assortment, it is clear that the sense of scale and scope for this figure is incredible. It blows me away when we compare this to the two sauropods released beforehand, showing just how much larger the Dreadnoughtus is at this point. There really is no other way to phrase it, I am blown away. That's it for this closer look at the Dreadnoughtus, I hope you enjoyed the unique look at this figure outdoors. Let me know what you think of this figure in the comments below and stay tuned for plenty more videos here on Jurassic Collectibles in the near future. As always guys, take care and have a great week.